Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to be talking about the Edge ISO uh, that's available for Linux Mint 21.3. And I went from Kubuntu again back to Linux Mint, and I did that for a number of different reasons, and it had a lot to do with hardware and how things were working. Uh, KDE Plasma wasn't working as well for me, so I decided to go back to Linux Mint, and that's where I'm going to stay again. It ends up being you know, coming full circle to be the best uh, distribution that I can imagine. It it just does things faultlessly in my view and for what I'm doing. So I went back to Linux Mint, but in going to 21.3, I find it very stable and, and everything good like that. But I remember at the beginning uh, when I was looking at different things, um, the mindset that I had in coming from Windows going to Linux is that you had to have the latest and greatest kernel. It was like Windows doing an update and their update would be, you know, whatever, 8.3 or whatever it was. Um, and when they did that, you just assumed that that was better, that was going to be all the bugs out and everything like that. Well, with Linux, it's really not the case. Um, and I wish somebody kind of told me that because at the beginning I thought, well, you just upgrade the kernel to the maximum kernel. I mean, this is how kind of dumb I was about it. And it's just one of those things you learn. And anyway, they have the Edge ISO, which is available for people whose hardware is new, too new to boot the 5.15 uh, long-term support kernel. Uh, which is normally in 21.3. That being said, if you've got really new hardware and you can't boot it, the Edge ISO with the 6.5 kernel is the way to go. If you can't boot it, if your hardware is too new and somehow the drivers need to be um, really up to date, uh, then you're going to have to do something like that. And there is... Uh, an ISO image for that. So you can download that and, you know, put it on your stick, do that, and then boot it from there. But if you're not having any tr uh, trouble booting, then you need to just use the regular 5.15 uh, kernel. And at the beginning, when I was first playing around with this, I went, well, I want the latest and greatest kernel. That's what I want. It's going to have all the bugs out and everything like that. It's not how it works, and sometimes you're just introducing more problems, um, and most likely are, and you're going to have some issues that uh, you wouldn't have had had you had the stable release with this kernel. That's the way it's really done. And being Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, uh, uh, Jammy Jellyfish, uh, when you're using that, then the 5.15 kernel for Linux Mint 21.3 is what you should be using if you're just doing a regular uh, switching from Windows to Linux. But if you're having problems with newer hardware, then the Edge ISO, which is always available uh, with, with every release, um, that comes with a newer kernel. Now, all that being said, one of the mistakes I made uh, was that when... <laughs> I started looking at it and I, I thought about it like I did Windows, you know, oh, you get a newer version of it, it's going to be better, it's going to be better. Well, it doesn't really work that way. And so what I did, uh, I went into the update manager like you see here, and let me just pull that up. Um, there we go. So I would pull that up and then I saw... Uh, this, you know, I went into the, uh, where it said view, and you can look at the kernels. And it says installing a new kernel can sometimes cause problems, especially, especially if you're using proprietary drivers. So I went ahead and I was doing that. And I kept doing that on occasion where instead of just staying with 5.15, um, in this case, which is the supported kernel and uh, setup. 
uh, until April 2027, I was going in and I was saying, well, I want the latest and greatest kernel. So I went right to six, 6.5, <laughs> or at the time, 6.2, I think. And uh, that's not what you're supposed to do. So if you're switching from, say, Windows to Linux or even Mac to Linux, you'll under you need to understand, you should understand that um, you should stick with the kernel that is with the stable release. That's what you should do because it'll make the whole operating system work properly. Don't think that you're going to upgrade the kernel and that's going to be better for you because it's most likely not. And that was a big mistake I made. So I started messing around with uh, updating kernels and, you know, most of the time it'll work just fine, but you may have some problems. <coughs> And in doing so, you're just introducing uh, uh, more variables into it. And uh, if you've got older hardware, uh, <coughs> uh, the 5.15 would be the way to go. So I'm telling you and saving you, if you're coming from Windows to Linux, uh, stick with the kernel uh, that brought you to the dance. Don't be updating that kernel unless you've got newer hardware and that becomes an issue. <clears throat> I'm having a heck of a time with the dry air of January, and it's uh, pretty bad. So I'm going to take a drink, and then I'm going to finish up. Oh, that's the one thing about Minnesota. You have very dry air in the winter, and you can feel it in your throat, on your skin, everything. <laughs> it's awful. So anyway... The rule of thumb is just stick with the LTS kernel that you've got with your distribution. Don't be upgrading kernels to higher numbers because that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better. And most of the time it means that it's going to be probably even a little bit buggier and a little bit worse. And the people that put together uh, these distributions whether it's Mint or if it's Pop! OS or if it's Ubuntu, uh, they have reasons for fixed uh, kernels with the operating system. Uh, and if you violate that and start playing around and, and doing some crazy stuff with the kernels, then you're probably just asking for trouble. So don't make the mistake that I did because... It didn't cause a lot of problems, but you definitely knew that it wasn't as stable. And that's the thing. You want stability. And you're really not hurting yourself by not having a later kernel. It, it really doesn't affect it at all. Uh, if in the future you upgrade hardware or something like that, that may become another issue. And then you may want to do that. But don't make the mistake I made and just start thinking that Oh, if it's got higher numbers, <laughs> it's it's the latest and greatest kernel, then it must be better and must work better than what I was doing. And nothing could be further from the truth. Um, really big rookie mistake that I made. So if you're coming from some other software operating system to Linux, don't make that mistake. Uh, just keep it all the way it's supposed to be. Unless you've got hardware that is so new that it doesn't work right or won't install right, then you're talking about using an Edge ISO. So anyway, uh, that's it. I just wanted to say that and uh, uh, not much else new. And uh, thanks very much for listening. And uh, we'll talk to you again. Take it easy. Bye-bye.